Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Let's Play. Is it just me, or does the ocean look so much better at night? It is nighttime, but it has this eerie effect to it that I love. I am out collecting copper because, ultimately, I decided we're going to make the museum roof out of copper. Oh, this is going to be rough, but it's so going to be worth it as well. Wow, check this out. That's the original mushroom biome we found. This one over here too. By the way, the best place to collect copper is easily the ocean floor. I mean, you could stand right here and just spot copper everywhere. Of course, the one spot I should, okay, there's some right there. Ooh, I like the new look of raw gold. Looks nice. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Oh my God. Oh my Lord, that is the best possible scenario right there. Was that not the coolest entrance ever to a place like this? Whoa. Oh God, oh, I missed. Okay, what the, okay, it's like half water. What is that? <laughs> it's a slime, hey buddy. One chest. Two chests. Oh, three chests. I love how I caught it in the corner of my eye. Look at this. See it? Just a giant amethyst over there. <laughs> Slime. All right, I'm in that awkward area where there's like no ore. I don't get this. Whoa, this is a cool room. You son of a gun. <laughs> oh my God, that is weird. <laughs> I'm still exploring it and I saw this and I was very confused. Oh, it's in the ocean. Is this the one? I was, I was just at this one. Okay. <laughs> Got a very unique waterway here, but I spotted some cobblestone. It's been a while since we've spotted a actual mob spawner. Oh, hello. Just one guy. Oh, eh. Huh. So this is new for me. It's a treasure map, but there's no sand here. So I started to think maybe this one's just messed up, like it's an old generation, but then I saw that right there. So I guess I'm about to start digging in some stone. I just as well noticed how interesting this one is. Look at all this, what the heck was that? Oh, was that the goat? <laughs> this can't be right. There's no way. I'd have to dig in all this stone. I don't believe it. I'll look though. Oh, whoa. It's, wow, look at that. It is here. There's a cake? Oh, no way. Okay, it was totally worth it. How is this cake surviving? That music, oh my God, hurting my ears. <laughs> That's cool. Taking all those, those will be handy. We got a freaking cake, yo. Look at all this goody stuff I'm getting. So, I can't remember if I got Deep Slate Lapis Orb, but I'm starting to realize, yeah, that looks like a lot, but trust me, it isn't. Because I came home earlier with this thing full and only made three stacks of copper blocks. But I'm starting to think the rarest block in this game is probably Deep Slate Emerald. Yeah, so I think I have everything else except for this, because I think this would be very hard to find because you'd have to be in the mountains and you'd have to be in that special area where deep slate starts spawning and where emerald spawns. And I think that's a very like niche area. One day, one day. Holy deja vu. What? Oh, okay it is. Okay, dang it. <laughs> found an azalea tree next to a village. And I'm like, did I really find another one? But I remember I started an episode here not too long ago. Actually, right here. 
And I was like, hey, look what I found. And then we found those mountains. <gasps> Whoa, it's all coming together. <laughs> That's crazy how you just get lost and then you stumble across what you were at before. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Emerald Mine, everybody. Gah. Wow, I kind of miss this place already. We were only gone for how many episodes? Like two episodes? Oh, it's good to be back. Who stole all my emeralds? That was me. <laughs> I changed the circle up front to a globe because a few people suggested that and I'm like, you know, I'll try it and it actually looks all right. So we got two stacks of copper blocks and I did this before, but I got, I think three stacks. That's three stacks right there, guys. That's three stacks. This is three stacks. <laughs> oh God, look how big the roof is. Look at all of this over here. We got to finish all this and then do all of that. I'm telling you, this is going to take years. Is this stuff weather faster in the rain i'm sure it does this has actually been up here for a little bit but i know copper actually weathers very slowly update lights in house i forgot i wrote this down <laughs> i guess i wanted to do it because in my main lobby i have these what are they i don't even know what these things are called Shroom light. Yeah, I think those go very well with... It's a funny sound. <laughs> goes very well with just brown. And throughout the rest of the house, I have just glowstone. And I don't even have it, like, covered by trap doors or anything. And it just doesn't look good. <laughs> so, it's time to update some old lighting. What's in these? Leather. Wool. Yeah, that looks so much better. Now, the trophy room. I've been slowly getting stuff out of here. Uh, this is no longer going to be here anymore. We're going to turn this into something else because obviously all this stuff belongs in the museum. Um, what's that? Oh. Oh, wow. Why did I leave that here? Did I forget it? Oh, I brought the Lonely Emerald too and I didn't want to... I was scared they were going to stack and get mixed up. But as you can see, I already got some stuff taken out of here. This is the, if you guys remember, this is the uh, infamous anvil that was always down in our workshop. And it was on the last stage of cracking. I think it's still like that. And it never broke. I think it was like a bug in the game at the time, but I didn't want to risk it. It lasted literally like a year. And I'm like, I can't break you. So I put it in here. I'm gonna bring all these. That, I'm gonna have to look back at when I got this armor. This is Northern Adventure gear. Like, I don't even remember most of this stuff. This is like a gear I went on an adventure with. This is from <laughs> that trip on like episode 300 plus. You know what time it is. Time to expand the Sunflower Farm. <laughs> now I can't decide. I don't know if I should do... Well, Sunflower fields are usually hilly. So I was debating on whether I should bring this up one right here. I think I'm going to expand all back in here. So I got a lot of work to do still. So I've been going on a map craze throughout my world, collecting all the interesting maps such as that one and preserving old ones. Like the one down here that was down here for a while, I actually updated it like probably about a year ago and it used to sit right here all the time. And I was kind of sad that I did that because it's such an old map, but then I found one in my very first office like this and I carefully put it in the cartography table and locked it. So now this is, I think the oldest map I have in my world. It's from 2016. As you can see, we don't even have the kitchen and stables in that area. This is back when slabs were transparent on maps. And the house doesn't even have a roof yet. It's just really old. What's this one? Oh, I locked this because it was like a really cool looking treasure map. Because we are going to have a really cool looking map room displaying all the unique maps I have in this world in the museum. I'm not going to show you them all yet, but I will show you what I have, and that's, I've already named them all. Uh, they're pretty cool, actually. I have some, see, I keep naming these, but then when I go log off and get back on, they're renamed back to unknown. I don't like that. But I have some, like, before and after maps, which is really cool. And then, of course, I have all the first and unique items here, and 
the retired tools and armor. Now, I've been struggling hard on what to do next with this place. I don't think I want to expand to the left and right. I actually think I just want to continue making it a bit longer and just having one giant hall like this. And then just having a bunch of stuff around here. Might have to cover up some windows to display on the walls, but this doesn't have to be just for the Ender Dragon. This can just be in the middle of the museum as another thing to look at. Okay, I'm just going to have to start experimenting. I, I keep sitting here trying to visualize what I'm trying to make, but I just, I'm just going to have to try. So I covered up this window. We're going to use some glow item frames like this, I guess. Yeah, that's good. And then um, maybe we can get rid of these and put that there. And these chains obviously look good as like a barrier, so you can't pass through. Now right here, I went throughout my world and collected what I think is are the rarest items to get in the game. Not those. Uh, some. This is some of them. I, f I still need to find a few more, but we got... I mean, that's not rare. So I probably won't put that in there, but everything else is pretty rare. And I think the rarest things of this is Pig Step, the Bottle of Enchanting, Dragon's Breath, and probably the End Crystal. Oh, well, let's throw it up there and see how it looks. Oh, I'm actually running out of space. Okay, that looks interesting, but I, I don't really like it on sandstone on the back of the wall. Okay, I need to put some... Okay, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, I kind of... Came up with this, it's black stone, or polished black stone wall behind it. it kind of makes it pop a little bit. And then of course the chain in front. I think this will be a good idea because it'll put all this empty space to use instead of just having these little pedestals and then whatever I was gonna do back here. I actually wanna use all of this room in here. So I think each one of these is going to display something. I was also messing around in my creative world. I think I want to try Oh, this can be tough. Some sort of design with some slabs across to kind of make it where I could even put some stuff up here. I need your opinion before I add it because it's kind of hard to do. I'm kind of trying to add some designs into these pieces that will be dividing up this wall, but I also want to do it here. I kind of have this wavy, I don't know if I like this bottom part here, but I kind of have this going on. Does this look, does this look good? <laughs> or Something about it is off. I don't know, I just can't come up with a design. Maybe, you, hey, if you follow me on Twitter, <laughs> I'm not trying to steal your designs or anything, but try recreating this and then come up with a pattern in between these like I am that actually looks good because it's actually a challenge. But I'm, every time I do it, I go back to just leaving it plain because I think it looks best plain. Mega Taiga. Ooh, that's a good question, probably PC. I don't really watch TV shows anymore, but it was The Walking Dead. Douse is my first name, MED is first of last, and my favorite number is 65. Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Fallout 4, Skyrim, making my world bigger. Not really, Hightail, <laughs> yes, no, my house, probably Etho, next freaking well, episode 400, <laughs> what animal would I like to be? A lion, oh man, these are... Very old. Ah, uh, I'd love to go through and answer all these again. Oh, we should, you know what? I might do that sometime. But I am gonna go ahead and cut this episode kind of short in the beginning, collecting that copper really ran down my time today. I know, sad, sad, excuses, excuses, it sucks. But today's comment question of the day comes from Crashback2005. Will you ever buy a desktop computer? I like that island. So I put it there. Here's another old one too. This has been here for a while. I just put it there because it's just of the wild and it's old. But yes, will I ever buy a desktop computer? Oh, I locked this one too. Someone suggested that. Like the beginning stages of building that. I think that's kind of cool. I really want to. Absolutely. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. A lot of you, since I am a YouTuber and I get decent views, I'd say 
I used to average about 100,000 views each LP video, but I think since I took that, well, quote unquote break, it was just I was in the middle of moving and other things going on in my life, like around the holidays, uh, I, my views have really took it a hit. Well, I still average, now I average about 50,000 a video. YouTube revenue is very hard to explain sometimes. And little do you guys know, I don't, I'm not really swimming in money from YouTube. I'm, I'm just getting by like everyone else in the world. I have bills to pay. I have, I just make enough to make payments on what I need to owe. And just a little bit to buy little things here and there. I'm not like a rich YouTuber. I really, I'm really not. So as much as I want to buy an actual desktop computer, like that is one thing I've been wanting to do for like two, three years now. Because imagine this world in like decent shaders and max render distance all the time. Oh, oh I would love that so much. Which is why I've been starting to think and don't hate me for this because I've always been against this. I don't know why I've been against it, but I've always I've been thinking about starting like maybe a Patreon to maybe help me get a computer. Of course, I have savings and stuff, but I don't want to break into that. That's for my future. What is it like a was it called Patreon or is it called GoFundMe or something like that, right? I don't need I don't even know what it is. That's how much I don't meddle with it. But I wouldn't mind doing that. Maybe some people could support me trying to get a desktop computer and I don't know, maybe then we can move on to bigger and better things in this world and other stuff. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs down here. So what would you guys say about that? Maybe I could do that, or even I could just start streaming on Twitch and get donations and stuff like that. I really want to start streaming, but I'm waiting to get my face cam set up. I'm trying to get my DSLR camera that I just bought last year. It's really nice, and I want to use it as my face cam. I completely forgot about the sewer. Oh, I love this place. I do kind of miss the old room, with the map wall, but I think this is, so we're not done with this by the way. I still wanna put like a big map wall down here and stuff too, Iron Man. Well, that's gonna be it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next episode. All right, bye-bye.